lesson, we'll configure web form content type defaults and add our first web form node. First, you'll want to make sure you've got web form module downloaded to your Drupal 7 site using FTP or Drush, whichever you prefer. In this lesson, I'm using version 7.x-3.19, which at the time of this recording was the recommended release for Drupal 7 sites. I've already downloaded and enabled web form using Drush. When I return to my site and navigate to modules and scroll down, I can see that web form is enabled and that no other submodules exist in this package that might need to be enabled. If you need to enable web form at this time, check the box and click the save configuration button. Now we can close the overlay and get started. Now that we have web form enabled, we can set the defaults for all web form nodes. I'll navigate to structure, content types, and because we have web form enabled, we can see a new content type here listed alongside the Drupal 7 defaults article and basic page. I'll click on the edit operation. I'll leave the name and description as is, and going down to the publishing options, I'm going to uncheck published and promoted to front page as the default. I can change these on a per node basis, and that's exactly what I want to do. When we create a new web form node, we're just creating a placeholder, a place for the form to live. We haven't added our form components yet, so it won't usually make sense to publish the node right away. Under display settings, I'm going to uncheck author and date information just as a personal preference. I just don't want the author and date information to display on that node. For comment settings, not going to close comments because that implies that you've had them open and then you want to close them. I'm going to hide them all together. And for menu settings, I'm going to keep the available menu for web forms to be main menu. If you have other menus on your site, this is the place to make them available to web form if you so choose. That looks good to me. I'll go ahead and save the content type. So we've configured defaults for all web forms and we're ready to create a new piece of content. I'll click on add content and web form. I'm gonna add a title and a body. This body text is gonna appear at the top of the web form. It's a good idea to include some instructions or an introduction to your form in this place. For menu settings, I'm going to keep everything as is. If I had a really long node title here, I may want to shorten that because this is what's going to appear in the menu itself. All the defaults can remain the same. Revision information all the way down, going to keep the defaults there. And as you can see, it's unpublished by default, which is exactly what we want because we haven't attached form components yet and we don't want to publish it until we're ready and the form is complete. I'll click Save. And now we're ready to add form components, which is exactly what we'll do in the next lesson. In this lesson, we ensured that web form module was downloaded and enabled. Then we configured the default settings for web forms and created a new web form node with a title and body.